So right now we have an interview set up. This gentleman is running against Diane Feinstein. His name is David Hildebrand and he bills himself as a democratic socialist and we're thrilled to have him. David, are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, I know you. How are you, David? Yeah, we met at the uh, People's Summit. That's right. That's right. I met. Now look at us. We got we're on the same show together. See how white life works. Yeah, Doug. welcome aboard, Jimmy. So I'm I'm definitely and for anybody running against Diane Feinstein. So you call yourself a democratic socialist? And first of all, what part of the state are you from? I'm actually I live in Sacramento. I'm technically from Lodi Woodbridge area, but I moved up here about a decade ago. Okay, and what made you want to run for Senate? Well, actually, uh, it's kind of an interesting story. I obviously I worked on the Bernie campaign, and I did a school board campaign locally here because I didn't want anything to do with the general election. So uh, <laughs> then I uh, started on the SB 562 campaign, and I was waiting for people to uh, fill in the slots, basically. And we have a lot of people on in the different con congressional districts filling in those slots, and I was waiting for someone to step up and and take Diane Feinstein. And no one would. So I said, well, in, in late February, basically, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. We, we have a network of Bernie Kratz here in California that's the biggest in the nation. So, I mean, if we can get all that hooked together, I think we actually have a chance at this. I think we, I think definitely people are sick of Diane Feinstein. I know we are here at the Young Turks on this show. I don't know about yeah, the other. Bipartisan. What's that? That's bipartisan. Yeah. So um, tell us about. Uh, what it what is uh, you have any big ideas? What are your big main programs you want to push? So obviously, uh, single payer is one of my number one. Um, ending Citizens United obviously is on the top as well. We need to get big money out of politics. Um, and on that note, I'm not accepting any corporate donations. I'm not accepting uh, or not having a super PAC or allowing one. So uh, that's where I'm starting off. Um, obviously, there's a, a lot of things. Fight for 15 that I that I want to promote. I want to end private prisons by legalizing marijuana so we can shut down mass incarceration. So you wait a minute, David, you you think you could just make sense like that and people are going to vote for you? I, I don't see that. <laughs> that is, <laughs> so that seems like stuff that, that people would say that makes sense. It doesn't seem like that's ever going to happen. But uh, I, I, you know, Kamala Harris, when she was the attorney general, uh, she pretended to be shocked at the private prison system, and she also pretended to be pro uh, shocked at the uh, pr prison labor system. So now, do you know anything about the prison labor system? Because the last uh, statistics I saw that the Calif state of California saves a billion dollars by using prison labor, which to me is slavery. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I know that they make like, I think it's like seven to 23 cents an hour. I think that's ridiculous. I think that people that are working in prison should be making the same wages as people outside of prison. And what that does is that sets them up for success once they leave prison. So if you're going to have somebody making, you know, basically nothing and then they leave pre prison with nothing, that's a recidivism issue. They're going to leave, have nothing to go off of when they get out of jail, and they're going to end up committing more crimes and going back to jail because of it. So we need to set people up for success have training programs in prison and actually pay them something. So when they get out, they have something to start off with. Wow, I'm telling you, you sound a little bit too informed uh, and you sound like a little bit too sensible. Honest to God, right, Malcolm? Yeah, you have this a is ridiculous because uh, David, this is Malcolm Fleshner. Uh, I'm a guest on the show today and I wanted to ask you about California is often labeled one of the most progressive states in the union, if not the most. And it would seem that it would make sense for our representatives in the Senate to fit that, you know, fit the bill in that they would be progressive in line with the state. And yet, Dianne Feinstein is really, uh, her record is more along the, the right side or more closer to the center of the Democratic Party. And I don't really buy into that center right sort of thing. She's more corporatist, really. And so I'd like to know from you, what is your critique of her record and where, why you would represent the state of California more effectively and what the state of California's values are than Dianne Feinstein has? So uh, Diane Feinstein doesn't represent any issues that she lose money on. So she's all for gay marriage because it doesn't cost her donors anything. But then when we start talking about stuff like fracking, then all of a sudden she just wants to not talk about that. When we talk about single payer, she calls it the government takeover of all medicine. So obviously, you know, she had gone to a, a fundraiser a couple weeks before that and taken a lot of money from pharmaceutical companies. So that's kind of like shadowing, you know, or, or covering her decision basically. So we know that she's already bought out. Um, issues that actually matter to California, like single payer, 70% of California wants single payer, and she's against it. 
And calling uh, California the most liberal state, yeah, it's the most liberal state, but everything is relative, right? So we have a lot of people, even in the state legislature, the mod Dems or business friendly Dems, they call themselves. They, uh, they don't actually vote the way that you would think that a progressive would. Um, we just got our own progressive caucus in the state legislature, but you know that's a small handful of the, the total number of Democrats in office. So my thing about California is if you're gonna run for office in California, you run Democrat, even if you're a Republican. Thanks so much for letting everybody here at the Young Turks know about your candidacy. And what is your website? Uh, DavidForCalifornia.com. DavidForCalifornia.com. All right, David, thank you so much for taking time and talking with us. And we'll have you on again real soon. Thanks a lot. Hey, MSNBC just hired Megyn Kelly to make sure Santa Claus stays white. If you're sick of that kind of bullshit lefty corporatism from the news, support aggressive progressives right here at the Young Turks Network. You become a member for $10 a month. It gets you access to the whole show. We do an hour every week, and it gets you access to all the other member benefits at the Young Turks. Stick your thumb in the eye of the corporate news and become a member of TYT Network. Go to tytnetwork.com slash join and find out what it's all about.